Ash Rafghani is here to make the case to President Obama that whatever Afghanistan's problems, he's a leader worthy of American support. While the White House had a vexed relationship with his predecessor, President Ghani signaled his gratitude for the U.S. sacrifice in Afghanistan. Facing an ongoing threat from the Taliban, he's asked for flexibility in the U.S. timetable for drawing down troops. Today, President Obama gave this response. I've decided that we will maintain our current posture of 9,800 troops through the end of this year. From a high of just over 100,000 troops, now the U.S. has nearly 10,000 forces in Afghanistan. By the time President Obama leaves office, just 1,000 U.S. troops are due to remain. Afghanistan's president welcomed the delayed drawdown. The flexibility that has been provided for 2015 will be used to accelerate reforms to ensure that the Afghan National Security Forces are much better led, equipped, trained and are focused on their fundamental mission. The war in Afghanistan has already cost the U.S. military more than 2,200 lives and the American taxpayer more than a trillion dollars. On Wednesday, President Ghani will try to convince U.S. lawmakers to continue supporting his country in an address to the U.S. Congress.